hello everyone welcome back to the new video of my channel today in this video i am going to make a website using chat gpt i will take the code of website from chat gpt and apply it in the vs code i have made a structure for the website that how our website will be look so let's take a look at that so here is the structure of the website that we will make from the chat gpt at the top there is a nav bar Navbar includes the nav items like about us page, contact us, and the place for logo. And after the navbar, we will add the image slider in the body, which will have next and previous button. After this, I will add image on the left side of the body and the text related to the image on the right side of the body. And in the last, I will add the footer related to the website. So if you are ready, let's open chat GPT. I have opened a chat GPT here and I write here, write HTML and CSS for navbar, which contains the nav atoms about contact, privacy and logo. Press the enter and check the results. So here chat GPT starts writing code and uh, it is writing first css and then it is writing html code for navbar wait for the chat gpt to complete it so the chat gpt finished to write the code and in the last chat gpt also explain the written code if you want to know it you can read the documents copy the code from here and open the vs code in the vs code i am creating a three files uh, with the name chat gpt.html chat gpt.css and chat gpt.js in the html file paste the copy code and the code which is written in the style tag is related to the css so cut this code from here and paste it in the css file so select this code and uh, cut from here paste this code in the chat gpt.css now we have to link that css file to our html file so the code works properly to link css file we can add the link tag and in the href we can add the chat gpt.css whatever your file name is you can add in the href save the file and click on the go live these files are opening in the browser and here is the result navbar is looking good it also adds a hover effect but instead of adding image at the logo place it adds the text here logo so write this error to the chat gpt to fix that open the chat gpt and uh, i write here debug the code so that logo will contain image now i hope it will fix that error so the here new code is dot logo and dot logo image rest of the code is same so i copy the new code and paste it in the css file oh sorry dot logo is already there so remove the one dot logo from here also copy the newly written html for the logo open the vs code and replace this line with the new code now save the file and check the results yes now there is a place for the image at logo you can add the image of your choice for logo this your logo text is looking ugly so i first remove this now our first step is completed navbar is made by chat gpt let's move towards our next step which is image slider open the chat gpt and let's write here now write the code for image slider which contains three images and also working next and previous button also i add their html css and javascript press enter once the chat gpt completes the code we will copy it so first i want to copy the css written by the chat gpt for image slider css is in the style tag so copy the code inside the style tag open the vs code and paste that code here now copy the html code for image slider and paste that code after the navbar and in last we have a javascript code written inside the script tag 
copy the whole code from script tag and paste it in the file with the name chatgpt.js now we have to link that javascript file to our html file so to link this add script tag and in the src add chatgpt.js save the file to see the result so there is no result because we have not added any source of image in the image tag for image sliders so to add images open the website unsplash.com and copy the link of some of the images from this website i quickly add the links of images and then will continue the video further finally i have added all the images links now save the file and see the result and here it is images are too large we have to reduce its size so to solve this open the vs code and in the css file target the dot slider image class and remove the width property from this now in the html file add the height and width for the images tag set the height to 500 and width to 1400 copy these two properties and paste it in another images tag save the file and open the browser yes now our slider is looking good images are sized well let's check the button whether it is working or not so click on this it is not working so open the code and so here parentheses are not added after the previous slide and next slide so add the brackets quickly now save the file and check the buttons yes it is working now now our slider is looking more professional ChatGPT has completed our second task now let's take a look at our next step which is image on the left side of the body and text related to it on the right side open the chat gpt and i search here now write the html css and javascript code so that image will on the left side of the body and text related to that and text related to that image is on the right side of the body so here is our required code let's copy the css code from the style tag and paste it in the css file copy the properties which are written in the body and paste that properties here also copy the html code and paste that code after it we also needed one more image for this so again open the website and copy the link of the image and paste it here so the link of the image is added now save the file and open the browser so we have not got our required result the image should be on the left side and text on the right side tell the requirements again to chat gpt and also ask to reduce the size of the image open the chat gpt and i write here image is not on the left side and text is not at the right side also fix this error that image should contain height and width of 100 px so now i hope it will fix that error so here is the code copy the whole css code only leaving the body code of the css because we don't need css code for the body so replace this code with the new one save the file and open the browser now it is better but uh, it is not aligned the image title should be on the right side so we have to give this a padding left property and the size of the image should be large so let's do these changes open the vs code and in the text container add the property padding left and set its value to 820 px this will move the image title to the right and here is the result now we have to increase the size of our image so again open the css file in the image container set the height to 500 px and width to 500 px save the file and open the browser and here it is it is looking good but uh, it should contain the padding from top and left so give that property to it so in the file right here padding top uh, to 30 px and padding left to 30 px this will give the padding to the image open the browser and yes now it is looking more cool. 
also we need image title in front of image so give it a property of margin top to minus 500 px this will move the image title in front of the image save the file and open the browser and here is our required result now it is well aligned you can add the text related to image for example i am replacing the image title with the city of lights and here is the result you can write the text of your choice finally our three step has been completed now our last step is to add the footer related to the website so open the chat gpt and write here the command write the html and css code for the footer of the website so here is the code of the footer copy the code one by one first copy the css and then copy the html paste that code in the required files save the file to see the result open the browser and here it is it is not aligned so let's apply some css property to fix it open the vs code and here the position relative is given so we can add the top property to the 55 vh this will move this to bottom and now it is looking good you can see our website is moving towards x-axis which is giving a bad user interface so to avoid this in the body add the our flow x hidden this will fix that error so as we make the structure for the website we make that website using chat gpt chat gpt done it perfectly it had made the code navbar image slider and the image text and in last it made a footer so the purpose of this video is to show you that you can make the website using chat gpt if you have a knowledge related to coding later we will make more websites using chat gpt if you found this video helpful like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any topic for the video related to coding or technology you can drop them in the comment below Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.